Hi guys, I have a stamp here from Blue Night Rubber Stamps called Waterfall in the Woods that we're going to color together. Um, it's a fairly easy to color stamp set. I'm going to show you um, two ways of doing it and we're going to add a little something special to it. So I've already started to color in some of the water here. I am just using some alcohol markers. I stamped this out in some alcohol safe ink. Um, and again, I think that the artist has left this up for interpretation on how you would like this to go because there's a lot of kind of foliage drawn into this, but um, you, you color it any way you want. So we're just gonna do some simple coloring here. The first color I used was B00 and this is B02. So I think I'll color this one fairly easy. Okay, and then we have some rocks off to the side here. So I have gray neutral three and three. There's some more over here. And I'm going to say this is a rock too. I'm going to go in with the next color, which is N5, and just kind of add some shadows here in this darker area. Again, the illustrator has already put a lot of this in for us, so not too much we need to do here. And then go back in with the N3 and just kind of blend it all out. Okay, I'm gonna work on the trees. Um, is YR24. Okay, I'm going to go with a little bit darker brown E57 and just kind of follow those lines a little bit. Using a really light hand. And a little bit bar darker E29. Okay, then I'm just going to add some greenery in. I'll start with a lighter green, G21. I'm 
And anywhere that's not been colored, I'm filling in that foliage with this G21. Now, anybody that's been in the woods knows that everything is not green and gray. It's a lot of brown, so we're going to go back in with some E37, and we're going to add some of that floor covering. And I'm just going to kind of dot this in here. And YG67, a little bit darker green. Some moss on that rock there. Now that looks like some more rocks to me, so I'm going to color that in. And a little bit more of the darker brown. Just sprinkling some of that in, just to give it a little difference in colors here. Go back in with the lighter green and just kind of blend some of that out. Okay. Now Really simple, easy to do coloring. You can of course go in and add some more colors in there if you want some more water or more greenery. You know, whatever works for you. More rocks. Okay, so I have already done one. I want to show you guys the difference just by changing the colors and what you get. So this would be, I think, you know, kind of like a summery scene.
And I think I want to make this rocks too. So I'm going to color this gray and put the gray right over the green. Okay. So this would be my summary kind of scene, right? And I want to show you the one I did earlier. Just by changing the colors, I made it a fall card, an autumn card. But wait, what's that? We have a little stag and a doe in the woods. So yes, those little critters came out of the Mama Bear and Friends stamp set. And I think these little black bears need to be in our summer scene. So real easy to do. I'm going to use a stamp -a jig This is just a stamp placement tool. Um, you can find these almost anywhere, I think. This is what we all used before we had the Misty. And I like using it when I'm lining up red rubber stamps. So first thing I'm going to do, get my ink pad out. I'm going to do a couple practice stamps on my scrap paper here because this is a brand new stamp for me. I haven't used it yet. Okay, I'm just going to clean it off real quick. And we're using our VersaFine Claire ink and we're going to stamp it on the stamp -a jig Now how you use the stamp -a jig is you're going to line up the corner of this clear sheet and you want the smooth side up there's a matte side and a smooth side with the corner of your stamp -a jig so that's butted all the way up in the corner now I'm going to take my stamp and I'm going to stamp the corner the stamping block right into the corner of the actual stamp -a jig tool stamp down lift now I have a guide okay so now I can put my bears wherever I want and I think it would be super cool to have them right here like mom is going into over the creek into the woods there and the kids are following behind her so once I have it placed I'm going to butt this back up against the corner because I know that's where it's going to stamp and I'm going to remove this clear piece and I'm going to re-ink my stamp and stamp straight down and hold it for a second and if I want it to be darker, which I do, I haven't moved my left hand. I'm going to do it again and straight down. Okay, and now we have Mama Bear and the Cubs in there. Now, what I did with the other one, just so it would stand out more, is I did a heat embossing on it, which I'll do in a little bit. But I just wanted to show you guys the difference and how cute are these little animal stamps with that scene. So Mama Bear and Friends combined with the Waterfall in the Woods stamp set. So you could use the little stag and the doe. You could use the little bears. And you could even use the little coyotes if you wanted to, right? Make an evening scene. So there you go, guys. If you have any questions, post them down below. Once again, thanks for watching and keep on stamping. Bye-bye.